is Gina. We are going to be making this bracelet. I haven't named it yet. I may just call it Enchanted Jewels Tennis Bracelet. It's basically tennis bracelet style. It's kind of bezeled the way that we do the sides of these particular crystals. And I have used a six millimeter round and a four by three rondel. However, this could work really well with cubes too. And I would think maybe a four millimeter cube instead of a six millimeter, but perhaps a six millimeter too. I don't know. And you can do this all in one color, you can do it all in one size, or you can change the sizes up like I show you here. Let me take this off and I will show you what it looks like laying out, if I can get it off. There we go. Might have to wear it for the rest of my life, I don't know. This is what the units look like. Let me get you close. It's really pretty. This is what the back looks like. It's pretty too, actually. So that's what that looks like. And let's go ahead and look at the material list and see what you'll need to do this project. Okay, for this project today, we will be using some beads from the Enchanted Jewels treasure bag. However, like I always say, you can do this tutorial regardless if you have that bag or not. And especially with this one, because these are very common, easy beads to get a hold of. So what I'm going to be using is some of the, what I call 5x5x5 five by five by five Pentagon beads. These are actually in the translucent. They're closer to six millimeter round. So you can use any six millimeter round um, crystal bead that you would like to use. You can also use a four millimeter bi or not bicone but cube bead. I think will work really good for this. Possibly a six millimeter too, but I would think a four millimeter would work really well. So you could use a regular cube. You could use a six millimeter round in anything else that's round. And then um, we're going to be using a three by four rondelle. And this is the purple paint. This one is golden green. This is purple paint. Then we're going to be using um, some Toho seed beads. I have an 11O and 15O and just a few 8Os. So my 8Os and my 15Os are Toho Galvanized Permanent Finish Sweet Blush. And then my 11O is Metallic Bronze. I'm going to be using one of the toggle clasps that came in the treasure bag. However, you can use any clasp you would like. I'm also going to be using a size 12 beading needle, and that is important because we're going to be going through 15 OC beads. And I'm also going to be using some 10 pound nano fill. You can also use some six pound fire line, but don't go any higher than that in fire line because you need to pass through these beads a lot and you need to be able to do that. So you want a very small diameter of thread. So I'm using nano fill 10 pound. You can use eight pound nano fill also. You can use six pound fire line or possibly even a four pound fire line. Then we're going to go ahead and thread onto our needle a full wingspan to thread. You're going to need to extend your fire line during this process or your nano fill. So I will post a video in the description box beneath the video player that will show you how to do that if you do not know how. Start with the wingspan. That's when you hold your arms out to your sides and you measure from the fingertips on your first arm across the length of that first arm, across your chest, across the length of the second arm, and to the fingertips on that arm. That's a wingspan. Put some of that onto your needle and let's get started. Okay, we're going to start this project by picking up 12 11 OC beads onto our needle. And then we're just going to bring them down to the end of the thread. Now you don't have to leave a long tail, but you need enough to hold on to and then just come up through the first three from the tail side three or four doesn't matter and pull your thread through and then pull on your working thread and your um, tail thread and just draw them into a circle like this now we're just going to sew back through all of these beads so I have four I've already gone through I'm going to go as far as I can into the next beads and then I'm going to again go into the rest of them just like this. Then once you have your working thread and your tail thread in the same spot, 
right next to each other. Then you're going to take your tail thread and your working thread and tie an overhand knot. I'm actually tying a surgeon's knot. I'm going through the loop twice. And then I'm just going to pull my knot down onto the thread between the beads, just like this. You don't want to pull it really tight because you need to get through these beads, but you don't want any slack either. And then the first thing you're going to do is just go back into the beads and go through three of them and pull your thread through. I'm going to move that tail out of my way. Then I'm going to pick up three more 11 o seed beads onto my needle and I'm going to go into the side that my tail is coming out of so, or where my tail is. So my working thread is on this side. I'm going to go back through just these three beads from the opposite side from which the working thread is coming out of and I'm going to pull this down. And now I've laid those three beads on top of the three beads that I first sewed through on the circle. Now I'm going to go into the beads that I just put on. So I'm coming out of the beads in the circle. I'm going to go back into the beads that I just put on. And then I'm going to go back through the beads in the circle right here. Now you have this weird looking thing like this. I'm going to trim this tail down a little just to get it out of my way. And then I am going to now place my clasping on this little three weird thing that we've done here. So let me bring you down a little bit so you can see. And what we're going to do is we are going to go up into the three that we added. So we're coming out of the three in the circle go up into the three we added and then we are going to pick up a 15-0 and 11-0 and an 8-0 and drop these down to our weird little circle. Then we're going to pick up our clasp and go through the loop on it. <clears throat> drop it down to the 8-0 and then go back into just the 8-0 just like this pick it up and pull your thread through. I'm holding onto that 8 and I'm drawing my clasp down to it. And then I'm going to pick up an 11 and a 15 and I'm going to go into the opposite side of these three beads that we started in. So I'm going to go into this side now and I'm going to pull these beads down. And now I have my clasping anchored, I'm going to sew back through this. So I'm going to sew into the 15-0, up through the 11-0, into the 8-0, and into the clasping. Then I'm going to go back down into the 8-0, into the 11-0, and into the 15-0 on this side. And then I'm going to go back through my three beads that I'm anchored to. Do that at least one more time and we'll be back. Okay, so I have secured my clasping one more time by sewing through just like I showed you previously. And now we're coming out of the first row of these three 11 o seed beads that we attached to. We're going to go down into the second row right here and pull our needle through. Now, we're going to go into just three beads on this side. We're just kind of straightening, straightening out and turning this into a square. So I'm just going to go through three beads at a time. Three beads, and then I'm going to go through three on the bottom here. Just like this. And I'm going to pick up three more seed beads. And I'm just going to go back into the three that I just came out of. So ignore these over here and just go back into these three on the opposite side from which your thread is coming out. Just like this. And now you're going to go back into the three that you just put on. And then back into the three that we started in the three in the circle. Now you're going to sew up into three on this side.
and we're going to sew through the three we're attached to and now we've created a little square so now we have to go into the three on this side we're completely secure because we've sewn around it in the process of putting on these little ones on the bottom so now we're going to go into the side beads here all three of them on this side then you're going to pick up an 11 0 seed bead and a 15 0 seed bead and then you're going to pick up one of your crystals if you can use a four millimeter cube too but I'm using a six millimeter round crystal and then I'm going to pick up another 15 0 and then an 11 0 so we've got 11 0 15 0 crystal 11 0 or excuse me 11 0 15 0 crystal 15 0 11 0 just like that now we're going to go straight across into the three beads on the opposite side and we're going to go into the same side we're coming out of here so just straight across and we're going to just hold on to this and pull this down and then bring the crystal over the top and secure the thread a little bit by pulling on it just like this and then you're going to pick up an 11 0 and a 15 0 and you're going to go right back into that crystal right here hold on to the crystal pull your thread through and then again pick up a 15 0 and an 11 0 and now we're going to go back into the three on this side where we started so we're just going to go back down into these three secure everything arrange it make sure that that bead is laying somewhat centered on your little square that you created and then I'm going to get in just a bit closer if I can we're going to turn this to the side and we're going to secure the sides so we're going to pick up a 15 0 seed bead we're coming out of the 3 11 0's here we're going to go up into the four beads on top here so the ones that are right in front of that crystal we're going to go through all four of them if you have to go a couple at a time that's fine too and then just pull your thread through mine kind of tangled there for a second and this is what you should have now you're going to pick up another 15 0 and you're going to go back into the three <laughs> excuse me <laughs> excuse me again I am so sorry so we're going to go back into the three 11 0's that we're anchoring to now what this has done is just created a side to hold our crystal in so now we're coming out of the three 11 O's on the bottom here. We're going to go through the three 11 O's that we attached these three 11 O's to. So we're just going to sew across in the bottom three, and then we're going to go into the three original ones on the original square we made. We're going to go into those three on this side and pull our thread through. Then we're going to pick up a 15 0 seed bead and we're going to go into I'm just going to do two beads at a time this time I'm going to go into the 11 0 and the 15 0 and pull this 15 0 down and then I'm going to go into the 15 0 and 11 0 here and pull this down then I'm going to pick up another 15 0 and I'm going to go back into these three beads again in our original square and pull that 15 0 down and give it a little tug straighten everything out and then you're coming out of these three 11 0's here we're going to go into the three 11 0's on the top here and we've sewn through these quite a bit so it could be a little tight I'm going to go through these three on the top pull our thread through make sure our embellishments on the sides here look good and then we're going to go down into the three in our original square again here just working our way down to the bottom of the unit so we can make another unit now we're just going to arrange these make sure they look good 
and then I'm going to go into the three 11 O's on the bottom in the original unit here, right there. And then <clears throat> into the new beads that we added to the square here. Now, I am going to show you how to reduce and put in a smaller bead too. In my design, I'm going to do one big bead and then one small bead, then two big beads, one small bead, two big beads, one small bead, all the way to the end. So I'm going to show you how to reduce this down into a smaller unit. You can keep it all the same size if you want to, but when you do this, we are going to pick up seven beads. Our first one was 12. On this one, we pick up seven. So we're going to pick up seven 11 0 seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the whole point is to have two on either side and still three on the bottom so we can make our, our square the same. We're going to be using th these three beads also. So we're going to come back around with our seven 11 O's and we're going to make another circle. This time, however, the sides of our circle are only going to have two beads. So you're going to sew up into two just like this. So we're just making the sides a little shorter. Then we're going to go down into three beads on the bottom of the circle here. Then we're going to pick up three 11 0 seed beads and we're going to go back into the three we just came out of. So now we're making a little rectangle. And we're going to pull those three down just like that, and then go back through those three, just like this. Then you have to go back into them again, the, the ones that you've attached to. So just come up from this new set up into the set we attached to. And then we're going to go just through two on this side. The three on top. And now we're completely secured. We've sewn all the way around. We're going to go into the two on the side here. Now we have a nice little rectangle to work in. We're going to pick up an 11-0, a 15-0, and then I'm going to use one of my 3 by 4 purple paints here. And then I'm going to pick up a 15-0 and an 11-0. So you've got 11-0, 15-0, crystal, 15-0, 11-0, just like this. And then we're going to go from this side to these two on this side, straight across. Don't go diagonal. And then pull these down. Push them over the top of your little rectangle. Turn your piece. And then pick up an 11-0 and a 15-0 and go back into that crystal. Now everything's going to be loose and weird, that's okay. Until we get it secure, it's just kind of weird. And then, now that we've gone through the crystal, we pick up a 15-0 and an 11-0 and we go through the two beads on the side that we started on, but we go into the opposite side of those two beads, just like this. And I'm going to pull this down and secure my crystal, just like this. Now we go to the side, turn it to the side, and we pick up a 15-0 seed bead. You can sew back through this without adding the 15-0s too if you'd like. I think it kind of fills in the corner, but sometimes they stick out a little. So if you don't want to do the 15-0, you can just sew back through the original beads and make a circle on the side. That's up to you. I'm going to pick up a 15-0, go through the 11-0 and 15-0 that are holding the crystal on. Then I'm going to go into the 15-0 and 11-0 that are also holding the crystal on. So all of these beads on top. Then I'm going to pick up a 15-0 and I'm going to slide back into these two beads on the side here, right here. And make sure I don't have any threads or anything and I'm just going to go through, just like that. 
Now, this makes a little embellishment on the side to hold your crystals in, just like that. So now we're going to slide into the three 11 O's in the original rectangle. Go up into those. And then you're going to go pick up, go through the two 11 O's here. And then pick up a 15 O and go into the beads on the top of the crystal here. So we'll go into the 11 O and the 15 O here. Pull this down. Then we'll go through the 15 O and 11 O on the other side of the top embellishment here. Pull that down, tighten it, pick up a 15 O, and then go into the two original 11 O's in the original rectangle and pull this. Then sew through the three top 11 O's in your original rectangle between the two units here. Sew into that and then sew into the side two so you're just sewing around your unit so you can get your thread back in the proper position that's why you need a really small needle and a really small thread because if you use a bigger diameter thread or needle this is going to be difficult then we're going to go back into the original 311 O's here then we're going to go into the new 311 O's and this time we're going to make another one of our big units. So when we make a big unit, we're going to add nine beads to the three that we already have. When we make a small unit, we're going to add seven. So this time, since I'm going to make a big unit, I'm going to pick up nine beads onto my needle. So let's see, I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have to look again because everything's just confusing me. There we go. So I have nine beads and I'm just going to go into the opposite side of the three that I'm coming out of here. This will make three beads for each side that I'm going to create in my square. So you always know how many you want to pick up because you need three beads on each side of your square. On your rectangle, you need two, three, two. And you'll always have your three that you're anchoring to. Then we're going to go up into three beads. So we're coming out of the three on the unit we're attaching to. Come up three come up three more here pull all your slack out pick up three 11 o seed beads go back through the three that you're coming out of then secure them by going back into those three and then back into the three you're, you're attaching to. Then sew up to, through the three beads on the side here. Sew into the three you've attached to on the top. And then into the three on this side. And now you're completely secure on all sides and you've created a square. It's like this. Now you will pick up an 11 O and a 15 O seed bead and then one of your bigger beads. Now if you're just doing all one size and you don't have to worry about reducing anything and you don't have to worry about changing your beads, but I am doing two different sizes. So I'm going to pick up an 11 O, 15 O crystal, 15 O and 11 O. And then I'm going to go straight across into the three 11 O's on the opposite side, just like this, and pull this down. And then I'm going to pick up an 11 O and a 15 O, 
and go back into that crystal. So I'll just push him over here and force him down like that because I'm such a brute. I'm so awful. Poor little beaties. Okay, then we're going to pick up a 15O and an 11O and we're going to go into the three on this side. Just like that. Pull your thread, make sure everything's nice and tight, your bead is centered, turn to the side, pick up a 15 o seed bead, and then go into the top embellishment, just like this. And then into the other two beads on the top here, or on the side of the bead, however you want to describe it. And then pick up another 15 o and go back down into those three beads on the side that you attached your crystal to. And pull that down. And then just straighten it up, make sure it looks good. And like I said, you can sew, sew through those without putting the 15 O. These toe hose are kind of square, they're not really round, and sometimes they poke out a little bit, but you can do that without it if you would like. And then we're going to go into the three 11 O's here, get to the other side. You're going to go into the three 11 O's on this side now, in your original square. You're going to pick up a 15 O seed bead and go into the side embellishment on the top here. And I'm just going to see if I can get them all, but I don't think I can. No. Yeah. Uh, I can't. So I'm going to go through two, pull that 15 O seed bead down, turn my piece, go through the other 15 O and 11 O on this side, and they're at a funny angle. There we go. Pick up a 15 O, go into the three original beads that we attached to right here. And we're going to get you a real close shot just so you can see what we're doing really well. And you can see I'm just making like a little round embellishment on the sides here. And then I'm going to go back into the three here between the units. The one that we have originally attached this particular unit to. And straighten everything out. Go back down into the side beads now, here, and then go into the 11 O's. Try not to catch that little weird 15 O that's sticking out there. And then go into the 3 11 O's here. And that's basically how you do that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make another large unit, and then I'm going to make a small unit with the purple bead. So I'm going to continue making my units exactly like I showed you here. So my next one, I'll pick up nine beads, I'll put on my crystal, my bigger crystal, and then also the sides, and then I'll make my next unit with a small crystal. So I'll pick up seven beads. And I will show you exactly the pattern I am doing. Back up the video if you need to, to learn how to make the units. It's very repetitive from this point. So this is what your units are going to look like. And this is what the back looks like. It's really very pretty when it's done and I will show you that. So just continue until you have 18 units or you are just about a quarter of an inch or three quarters of an inch short of the length you want. So let me show you what I have and I will show you the pattern I did too. So play, I'm placing my ruler, yes, halfway through the um, toggle on this side and you can see I have just a little over six inches. I actually need to get quite a bit more length, but my pattern would have been off had I done it more. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add 
a little bit extra length with another eight oh on my clasping and um, I should get right around a seven inch bracelet so let me show you what I'm talking about my pattern I did one green crystal and then the smaller purple crystal and then I did two one two one two one two one two one, two, one. Well, you can see all the way to the end where I just put one green because I started with one green on this end. So now I'm um, symmetrical. Now, of course, you could just go ahead and put another green one if you need a little bit more length. And I may end up regretting not doing that. But I'm going to see if I can get this to work for me. Now, I have my three 11 O's on the bottom here because when you make your last unit you'll make it the same as you made all the others so you should have 311 O seed beads attached to the bottom of your unit here and then I'm going to make this a little bit longer by picking up a 15 O, two 11 O's and two 8 O's that will narrow it down also so I can get my toggle through better so let me show you what I have I'm dropping down a 15 O, two 11 O's, and two 8 O's. And now <clears throat> I'm going to go through my loop on my clasping here. And then I'm going to go through my um, two 8 O's and just the two 8 O's. I'm going to hold on to them and I'm going to pull this down. Then I'm going to pick up two 11 O's and a 15 O, and I'm going to go back through the three um, 11 O seed beads that I'm attaching to on the opposite side now. Just like this, and I'm going to pull these down. And now you can see I have a little bit longer ending here. This is going to give me a little bit more length and it's also going to make sure that the straight end of the toggle can clear the round end because we have kind of a thick bracelet underneath it. So narrowing this side always helps. Now I'm just going to sew back through this twice just like I did on the other side to secure it and we'll be back after I've done that and I'll show you how to tie off. So just sew up through the entire thing again exactly the same way we did the other side. We just have more beads to sew through now and then we'll be back. Okay. So now I have sewn through and secured this, made sure there was at least three passes of thread through my clasping. And now I'm coming out of the three original 11 O's that I attached to in my bracelet unit here. And now I am going to go underneath. There's a little thread bridge. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get you closer. There's a little thread bridge right here coming out of these um, three 11 O's that goes into the 311 O's on the square that you created in the previous unit here. We're going to go under those and pull down a little loop of thread, go through the loop and pull down a knot. And then we're going to turn our bracelet over and go into the 311 O's beneath the three with the clasping on it. So the three in the original unit here. And then we're going to sew down these three on this side. And then into the three here on the bottom. And then we can grab that thread bridge between these two units of 311 O's right there. You can see that little thread bridge we're going to go under it and tie another knot. <clears throat> so right between the two columns of 311 O's, you just go underneath or between, pull a loop, go through the loop, and pull a knot. And then you can sew down into the 311 O's here. And then I'll sew down the three on this side or the two on this side. This is a smaller unit, so I'll go down these two here, and I'm going to call that good. You can sew down and tie as much as you want. 
on your units, that's fine. I'm going to cut this, leave it a little bit of thread that I can burn down, maybe. Maybe I cut it too close. Ah, there's a tiny bit. If you burn this down, just get your heat close and melt it. Make sure you do not burn any of your other threads because that would not be good. And then, of course, you can um, go burn down the tag you left on the other side of the clasping. And then, let me get this and straighten it out and show you what it looks like. This is our finished project. And I think it's really cute. It's it's original the way it just kind of, it's like crystals laying on a plate or something. It's kind of bezeled and it's, it's really cute. So let me see what we ended up. We ended up with just under seven inches. So I'm gonna see if this will actually fit me. This might be too small. So let me see. I'll get it on there. It's hard to do with one hand. Oh, and it's going to be okay if I can just actually do this. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. I got him. Okay, so yeah, he fits okay. And that's what the clasping looks like. And that's what it looks like on my wrist. And I think it turned out really pretty. And, you know, under the, um, the camera it really magnifies everything. So it may look like it's messy or thready or whatever, but to the naked eye and on your wrist, it looks really organized, really pretty, not thready, not messy. It looks really nice. So that's what that looks like. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then give me a little like and, a, and hit the subscribe button and perhaps the bell to get notifications. That would really be very nice of you to do for me. I would appreciate it. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.